How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech and today I got a little interesting video for you guys. Now I have done a lot of keyboard reviews in the past, some of them a lot more affordable than others and the cheapest one that I've taken a look at is this re-mechanical keyboard that's only white backlits and there was I think around $20 so this was the cheapest mechanical keyboard that I've reviewed and yeah it wasn't necessarily the best but it was a mechanical keyboard so if you were praised for a mechanical keyboard there you go but now this is the newest cheapest mechanical keyboard that I've gotten my hands on and this one is also actually RGB now this is the KG909 uh, Marvo that we get here in South Africa. I haven't seen it on Amazon, it's just currently here in South Africa. And I was able to pick this one up for 300 Rand, which is convert that to US dollars. So it's 14 Rand per dollar. So it's roughly around $20 also. But then you still have to calculate in shipping taxes, just normal taxes, and usually you have to multiply it almost by 20 to get like the US price. So this should actually be around $15 for a RGB mechanical gaming keyboard, which, yeah, what do you get for that price point? So let's quickly open it up and check what you get. Now I'm also going to compare it against that Re keyboard and then also the Ray Dragon, this is the Vara of the Kamara, the Vara, which is also one of uh, very popular cheap mechanical keyboards on Amazon. So let's quickly check what you get. So that's pretty much it, just the keyboard and the manual that is three pages long. Kindly remember, please visit, okay now I'm not going to visit your website, <laughs> I don't really care. But anyway, so this is the keyboard. But uh, firstly, when my friend picked up this uh, keyboard, one of the salespeople at the store actually tried to convince him to buy something else. Because <laughs> I'm not going to say exactly what he said, but it's not the best keyboard that they wanted to sell. So yeah, they, would, they recommended me getting something else. So that already doesn't sound the best. Alrighty, so it is connected to my laptop and the RGB doesn't look too bad. Now currently it's just going in and out and there you go. Let's see, you get your effects here. Let's get something basic. All right, so there you have the effects. Now it does look like it doesn't have a perky RGB backlighting. So it's mostly red, yellow, purple, blue, a light blue, what? Aqua? Aqua or... yeah, I'm not sure about my colors. Green and then darker blue. So that's unfortunately it. Now you do get some other effects. Tapping it goes like that somehow. It goes like that. So it's just those colors every single time. Looks like you can adjust the speeds of the effects and then of course the brightness. So you do have some controls, nothing too crazy, but only for a cheap mechanical keyboard, that's what you want. But let's quickly take a look at the build quality. Now firstly, you can feel it is a bit cheaper, but there isn't really that much flex going on, so that's pretty okay. Also, I'm not sure if the top is aluminum, but it feels pretty okay. I'm not actually too... Uh, I've, I've seen a lot worse keyboards, especially some of those membrane keyboards, which is just plastic all around and flex like crazy. So this is actually a much better improvement. I'm, I'm much surprised for the price that you get a pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy build. It's still plastic mostly, but not too bad. Uh, underneath, you have your flipper keyboard feet, some pads here in the corners. You also have rubber pads on the flipper keyboard feet. It's, it's decent. So the cable is just a normal 1.8 meter USB non-braided cable. So nothing too, too crazy there. But now again, this is a mechanical keyboard. You do get normal membrane keyboards that's also RGB. That's nothing new. But being a mechanical keyboard, being RGB and everything for that price, that's the interesting fact. So let's quickly see what switches we get. Let's just remove all these. Why don't we? So the keycaps. Looks to be double shot, but some of those cheap double shot ones and the printing on the top might also fade after some time. So 
it, it's good enough, honestly. Now, the switches that you get looks to be Ultimo switches. It's a bit hard to see. It looks like it's Ultimo blue switches. Now, that is um, on the cheaper end of uh, switches. Some of the, the CRMX clones that you get. This, I think this one is the cheapest that I've seen. This is S-Sun, B-Sun. So, yeah, I think this is the cheapest that I've ever seen. But it still feels actually pretty decent. And I have used the, uh, the Ultimus for a bit on other keyboards. So it's not a bad, really. Because it's plugged in and it wants to delete something. No, don't delete. <laughs> but now, let's quickly just type on it and see how it feels. If it's actually... Feels okay. However, you can kind of hear that that spring or that the switch is jumping back. That that tinning, that tin sound just echoes throughout the keyboard. It's not too loud, but it's definitely noticeable if you don't have headphones on. Yeah, it's not necessarily the best, but it, it's a mechanical RGB keyboard for just around like $15 or 300 Rand. That is hella cheap. <laughs> but now just before we jump into a game of CSGO and to test it out for a bit and see how it feels, let's quickly compare it to some of my other keyboards, some of my other affordable keyboards. So firstly again, it's the Re. Uh, I honestly don't know even what this keyboard's name is, it's just Re. And I also don't think you get this one anymore. Now this is also a 10 keyless version, so numlock not included, but the build quality is also pretty decent with this one, but you do have a lot of rattling going on, which you don't get on the Marvo, the 909. So that, that's good. And also, you're that spacebar. So, it's a lot louder this but again it was for $20 which wasn't too bad but this is one that's a bit more popular and this is again the Red Dragon Vara and you also get the Kamara which is the 10 keyless version which is I think the most popular keyboard on Amazon um, so that is also going for around $30 I think this one is around $35 or something but I've used this one actually for a bit and I honestly do like it now, unfortunately, the version that I have here is not the RGB version. You do have the RGB version as well, which is a bit more expensive. But honestly, if I were to choose to actually purchase it with my own money, which I did, <laughs> I would honestly go for the Red Dragon because I have used this one a lot and it hasn't given me any problems. Pretty much all of my Red Dragon stuff hasn't given me problems uh, except one mouse. But yeah, it was a pretty cheap mouse as well. So I'd rather go for something like this. And it's also, it feels a lot sturdier. It doesn't have any rattling as well. And just comparing the, it's much heavier and it just feels a lot more sturdy. So if you were wondering if you want to buy rather this or like a Red Dragon Varo or Kamara or any other mostly Red Dragon products, now I'd mostly go for Red Dragon overall. Uh, but still, for the price point, this isn't too bad. So then after using the 909 for a bit in some games, trying it out, I have to say I'm actually quite surprised. I didn't think it would do, well, feel decent <laughs> um, now like I said the one of the sales guys didn't really recommend this and I, I might actually recommend it now there's some criteria if you're looking for a mechanical keyboard that's pretty much it <laughs> then you can go for this one I would honestly go uh, from uh, I would rather take this than like some of the cheaper membrane keyboards because cheap membrane keyboards are honestly horrible especially at this price point. So I would honestly go for this one above some membrane ones. But again, if I would have used my own money, I would rather pay just a bit more and get something like the Red Dragon Navara. Uh, it just feels a lot better. And I think it's going to last also a, a lot longer, even though it does use the exact same switches, I believe. I think these are also Ultimate switches. Yeah, same Ultimate, but it just feels better actually. 
Uh, so yeah, it's going to be up to you. If you really want a cheap mechanical keyboard, there you go. But again, this is mostly just for here in South Africa. I don't think it's again available on Amazon. I didn't see it on some of the other like online Chinese stores like Gearbest and Banggood. So. This is only for here in South Africa, and usually our stuff is much more expensive, like I said, around 20 times the price uh, in like compared to the US. So, for 300 Rand or what, $15, it's honestly not bad, and it's crazy that keyboards have gotten so, so cheap. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty much it for the cheapest mechanical RGB keyboard, semi-RGB keyboard that I've ever tasted and again I'm not that disappointed for 300 Rand for that price point it's actually pretty decent I'm just not sure how long it's going to last after this it's just going to sit in my in my cupboard I'm not going to use it so I'm not sure if it's actually going to uh, break on me but maybe it, it will break if you use it every day so Maybe I should test that. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll use it for a bit and see if it breaks within like a month or two. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you guys have bought this keyboard before, if you're in South Africa, or what's the cheapest mechanical RGB keyboard that you have ever used. Let me know down in the comments below. I do hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.